Hello YouTube, this is Netflix 7 I'm continuing my Marvel Universe mini Mates review with Series 29. Uh, this time I'm doing the variant before the regular version. Uh, number one, I actually like the regular version much more than I like the variant. This is the World War II Wolverine with Hydra Agent. Um, this is a set that actually has the most accessories of any of the sets I've ever had. Unfortunately, this is a strange case where even though I like having accessories, the accessories are almost useless for some of them. Or just kind of pointless and don't and just end up getting in the way of the figures. Anyways, here they are in reverse spots. My bad. I'll fix that and then I'll fix that for the next one. But this is how they come out of the pack. Or well, Wolverine will actually have his hair in. This is his helmet. But this is mostly how they come out of the package. And how they come out of the package is not how I like to display these guys at all. We'll start with the Hydra agent. He can't do anything like this. He has these big puffy gloves that can't really hold um, his guns at all and then uh, it's actually made out of he's got a little skirt thing and then overcoat he's got a body underneath and he's got this holster that because the skirt doesn't really sit right and ends up making things awkward because if you turn him over the gun comes out you can squeeze the gun in if you use a lot of force nerd strength go you can get the gun in his hand but that's the only accessory you can carry out of his two um, we'll carry all accessories he also has. An assault rifle that he can hold in his regular hand. Once again, though, for some reason, it's a pain in the butt to get these guys to carry it, so I just put it in the hand anyways, because how I like to display them, we pop off the head, kind of grab underneath, and pull the top part of this dress thing up, and move the coat out. And then he's kind of got just this old-school Hydra agent look here. I still like to keep the dress on. Um, because, oh, I like the idea of Hydra wearing a dress, to be totally honest. Probably that's also because I don't like them, so. And we take off the hands, and he has regular hands! Which is always nice whenever they give you regular hands for, um, these characters with the big gloves. Just gives you different display options. And then he also has goggles! And you can put the goggles on here if you want. I switch back and forth about how um, I feel about the goggles. I just realized that he has a mask. He, uh... Wow. Totally missed that. He has a mask of his mask. So there he's kind of got the old school Hydra look. And here's like the new detail mask where he looks kind of angry. And this goes, oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't realize that he had a mask. Oh, that totally improves my rating on these guys. All right, well, this set's going to get 9 out of 10 now because it was originally an 8 out of 10. I like that so much. Wow. Lack of playing for the win. Anyways, here's World War II Wolverine. This is when he fought with Bucky and Captain America back in World War II. See, the helmet doesn't really fit, and um, his head will snap off with the slice thing because this jacket pack is way too big um, and also I have him holding the Tommy gun like this because this strap is so low set um, for these guys that I cannot get him to hold the gun to save my life and I can't get to really fit in any other way so he kind of has to hold it by the strap but once again this is not how I like to display him I like to take the head off and pop the coat off see so he's got a basic uniform underneath this We'll uh, pop the head minus the helmet back on. And what we're going to do is take off the hands. I'm doing this way out of order than what I normally do. We're going to put on his trademark Wolverine haircut. I actually sported this for a while, guys. I'm dead serious. I stopped because, um, yeah, girl, girls don't dig the Wolverine cut so much. But... Oh, they don't actually dig the spike haircut so much either, apparently now. But there he is. And this is how I like to display him because this is how I like Wolverine. Although at this point, he's not Wolverine. He's James Howlett. Cool, cool. Um, so yeah, I'll give this a 9 out of 10. I had no idea that um, that was a mask. It's kind of embarrassing, especially to find that out while doing the review. Um... I would only get this set um, if coming in the series, I wouldn't go out of your way to find it. 
it's not bad, but it's not the greatest. Um, oh, it is kind of cool. You kind of when you buy the series, you get troop building set because you get two Hydra agents. This is Navalix Seven. I'm signing out.